The Hyundai Santa Fe has always been a popular seven seat SUV for big Australian families, but we'd have to say it's never been a winner in the beauty contest stakes. That is up until now with the arrival of this, the fourth generation Santa Fe, a car we believe could easily wear a premium badge on its nose. The new Santa Fe arrives in Australian showrooms this month in three model grades, Active, Elite and Highlander, all featuring a comprehensive suite of safety systems, an automatic gearbox and all-wheel drive transmission as standard equipment. The entry-level Active has the choice of either a 2.4-litre petrol four-cylinder with a six-speed gearbox or a 2.2-litre turbo diesel with an eight-speed unit. The latter configuration is standard in the Elite and Highlander models only. Prices start for the Active at $43,000 plus on-road costs. Well, that bold exterior design has also been carried through here into the cabin. As you can see, it's a classy looking space. There's some elements that are borrowed from some premium brands, such as Jaguar with this floating dashboard here. And it kind of looks a little bit like an old school Mustang with a twin cow setup. But in typical Hyundai fashion, it's also really practical and pragmatic. There's great storage space, heaps of small item storage in the center console here, got great connectivity including this 8 inch color touchscreen on top of the dash which has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well as standard sat nav and digital radio. If you'd like to read the full review of the Hyundai Santa Fe click on the link here for drive.com.au. Speaking of smartphones you can also keep an eye on your car with the new Hyundai Autolink app that provides remote diagnostics, tire pressure monitoring and parking management as well as quick links to schedule a service and roadside assistance. And in this top spec Highlander model, we also have a fully digital instrument cluster, which changes its look depending on the drive mode. Continuing on the practicality, the cabin is also much larger than before with more legroom in the second and third row seats and even more boot space, especially when used as a full seven seater. There's also some clever touches like a walk-in switch on the curbside that electronically flips the second row seat up, making it easier for kids to get in the back without assistance. There's plenty of room in the middle row as the seat can be moved forward and back across 300 millimeters. And there's rear air vents and USB power outlets to keep mobile devices charged. The third row is even more spacious than before with extra headroom that makes it accessible for adults on short journeys, but it is best suited to kids in everyday situations. Well, the diesel we're driving is even more efficient, yet more powerful than the petrol engine, producing 147 kilowatts and 440 newton meters. It's an engine that is well suited to this car. It's smooth, it's willing, and it revs quite freely. However, it is a little bit noisy. It's mated to this new generation eight-speed automatic gearbox, which gives the car a great amount of flexibility. It shifts really well when on the fly, it's sporty when you need it to be, and it's also ultra efficient at cruising speeds. Like every Hyundai, the Santa Fe has also come in for an extensive local suspension and steering tuning program. And I'd have to say the results are, as expected, pretty exceptional. It's a smooth, comfortable, quiet car on the road, but it's also quite sure-footed through the bends and reasonably dynamic. The steering has got good weight to it and the car generally sits pretty flat through the corners. All Santa Fe models come equipped with automated emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, lane keeping assistance and rear cross traffic alert. They also have a new safety exit assist system that keeps the rear doors locked if the vehicle predicts another car is coming by. The Elite and Highlander go even further with a rear occupant alert that tells the driver if there are still children left in the car. So, what's the verdict on the fourth generation Hyundai Santa Fe? Well, it's another impressive family SUV and a huge leap forward for the South Korean brand. Like before, it's spacious, it drives well, it offers exceptional value for money, and it's as safe as houses. Now, it has the style to match the substance. Well, tell us what you think in the comments below or hit subscribe for more reviews from drive.com.au.